What is going on guys? Welcome. I hope all is well. I am at the start of my trailhead in a new area. Gonna go exploring, hopefully find a cool camp spot. But uh, let's air down real quick and head on this trail. Welcome to camp. I didn't do as much uh, exploring as I thought I was gonna be doing. I found a pretty awesome camp spot and I was like, screw it, I'm calling it. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna figure out how I want camp set up, get it situated and enjoy being out here, man. All right, let's figure this out. So there is camp guys. I got it all set up. I've actually just been chilling. We got a fire, an old fire pit right there, which I'm obviously not going to be uh, using because of the fire band. Uh, I'm actually about to cut up some fruit. Enjoy that. So something in setting up, I realized, man, it's windy, windier than I thought it was going to be. So I checked the weather, the wind specifically, and it's supposed to be 40 miles an hour gust all day up until 7 p.m. Around 5 p.m. it's supposed to slowly start tapering down and then by 7 p.m. it's supposed to take a you know a sharp drop and not be as windy and then tomorrow it's not gonna be like this at all either so that's good but wasn't expecting that it feels freaking great not like my one trip where it was super windy cloudy and it rained on me that trip it was cold and you know at least i could have had a fire then anyways um i am loving camp i'm immersed within the trees so i am just gonna relax and go from there
All right, well, I am getting ready to make my dinner. The wind has been slowly dying down and I'm hungry. I can't wait any longer, so I'm gonna make my food. I'm making, I'm gonna make some chicken with pasta and Alfredo sauce. And something I have learned from other people that I've watched is that you never wanna make anything you've never made before at camp. You wanna, you know, test it at home, make sure you get it right. I didn't do that. So uh, the one thing I have never made is Alfredo sauce. And so I'm gonna see how this turns out. Food is all done. So I cleaned up everything, put everything away. So once I started cooking, the wind had all but disappeared. The sun has officially set and the moon is out. It's right up there. I am still hoping that I can still see some stars. We'll see. But now let's go ahead, um, serve me some pasta you can see i already got my chicken and my broccoli all situated i just got to put my pasta in there and then let's try and see if uh i did a good job all right take a look here it is 
It smells freaking delicious. All right, let's try this pasta. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mmm. Nailed it. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm in heaven. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, I tried all different brands of the jars. Just nasty. This is just super easy. Oh, I'm so happy I learned how to make this. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to enjoy my food, guys. I will see you afterwards. All right. I got everything put away, cleaned up. I am stuffed. I overate feels good i'm tired it's been a long long week of just go 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 so i'm ready to have a really good night's rest the only thing i'm debating right now is do i want to set up the camera for a star time lapse i know the moon is out you know what i think i am and i'm gonna see how it turns out i'm not gonna point the camera towards the moon I'll do it in the other direction. And we'll see what I get. All right, guys, I will see you at some point tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So after I got up and stopped the time lapse and did the 360, I went back to bed. I was like, I'm gonna sleep in and be lazy because it's been a long time since I've done that. And I have been nothing but trying to mo motivate myself to get up. I figured I'll turn the camera on and that should hopefully get me motivated up. I did get a recording of um, what the temperature was in the early morning, I forget, somewhere in the 40s. Now it's here, take a look. Ugh. There you go, 65 and 70 in here. <sighs> All right. I am going to get up and make some tea, wash my face, and probably make some breakfast. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Ugh.
Right, guys check it out here is my breakfast looks freaking delicious mm -mm -mm. get that all mixed up in there there we go mm. perfect I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'll see you afterwards. All right, so I've been doing nothing but chilling and it's felt great. I started to pack up. I got everything outside of the tent and in the truck and you can just see the last little bit I have out. So I'm gonna get that all packed up. But I do wanna tell you guys, uh, so my last trip where I was like, I got the little lanyard uh, to put inside the tent cause I thought a bunch of bugs were getting in there and biting me at night. When I was editing that video, I noticed that that wasn't the problem. It was when I was outside, the bugs were just getting to me. So I ended up, um, when I realized that, I ended up getting um, a hat with a, a bug net on it. It didn't, it doesn't arrive until today. So when I get home, hopefully I'll have it and it'll help. <coughs> That's in part also the reason why I've been wearing um, 
these uh, hiking pants. I have another pair at home as well that I'll wear. And uh, I've been keeping my shirt on is be uh, to protect me from the bugs. I will say this trip it hasn't been as bad as it was my other trips. Now something I do have, um, I have this like little thermosel thing that keeps on. It's good, but I don't like it for the fact that it uses, um, here I think I have, it uses not only this that you gotta put in, which isn't bad, but you need, also need to get the gas, which I don't like. And it doesn't work above seven, it, you'll start having problems and it most likely won't work above 7,000 feet in elevation. I'm camped at um, 6,900 and some change feet in elevation right now. So it is actually working. But something I did get, um, I ended up returning that uh, lanyard um, and I ended up getting this cit citronite, citronelle uh, candle. And then I also got um, this, which has um, an essential oil and it's, um, it recharges so it runs on uh, battery and it lasts about maybe five and a half hours and I can just recharge it and it omits um, the oil, the scent that repels the mosquitoes and bugs. So I have that and then once this is finished out, because I have a bunch of um, uh, gas and the little patches or the whatever you want to call these, the um, scent things. Uh, once that runs out, I'll probably won't get any more and I'll just stick really, I'll rely on this. And then I know once I get the hat with the netting, that'll keep me safe from getting attacked uh, on the face and the neck. Oh, I did get bit like right here somewhere. Where is it? I can't feel it anymore, but yeah, I got bit somewhere right here. Um, and I do have a couple of bites, but it's not as bad as last time, so, or the last couple of times, so yay for that. But, uh, I'm gonna finish up packing up and then probably head out. I think I'm just gonna air up here at camp. So what I ended up doing was, like, on this trip, I, I planned on doing a little exploring and getting deeper into the woods. But when I was airing down, when I got to the start of the trailhead, I was like, man, I'm tired. I could really take a nap. You know, it was a long week, just like all the other ones. And um, I was like, whatever, let's just go have some fun. And it was funny, I'm probably like six, seven miles from the start of the trailhead, which I was planning on jumping on other trailheads that get more technical and harder. Um, the one I'm on now, freaking an RV could, you know, come down this way. Um, but it was funny, when I, when I passed like the little chute that brought me here I passed it and I stopped and I was like eh, maybe I should go and see where this leads and that's what brought me here and I was like no nope, yeah this is it's far enough from you know the forest road that it gives me peace and quiet and that's exactly what it did the only sounds I heard were a couple planes that passed by and I think yesterday two four-wheelers somewhere off in the distance back because there's other trails you can take um, to have fun but anyways, I'm gonna finish up packing up and then I'm actually gonna show you guys uh, how I air up because I improved upon it. All right, I got everything packed up. Just doing last perimeter check. I'll get my tripod in a second. I am gonna move my truck to a shady spot so I can air up, not in the sun. All right, cool, I'm in the shady spot. I'll show you, I didn't go that far. <clears throat> so this is the shady spot. I was literally camped right over here. So I was camped on that side. I figured I'd come to this because it's amongst the trees. And the only reason I didn't tent or camp in this spot is if you look, that's a leaning tree, that's a leaning tree, that's a leaning, like there's a bunch of leaning trees over here and they're kind of leaning in the direction where all the shade is. So I was like, ah, better be safe than sorry. So uh, let me show you, let me get everything out and show you my new kind of air up method.
So what I do is I start airing up my first tire and then I'll go around and I'll unplug everything. Well, I should say I'll take the cap off. Oh man. All right, I got another one. So I'll take all those off. And then what I do is I put my timer on and at about a minute and 45 in between two minutes, I will switch tires. And then I will put the air pump on the next tire. And then I'll use my deflator and I'll get this tire to the right PSI that I want it. And then I'll wait for the next tire to air up. Once that timer hits, I'll switch to the next tire and so on and so forth. I found that to be a lot quicker than uh, doing it the other way. So I'm gonna finish airing up. And the only reason I'm airing up here is because the road I took on to get here, the forest road, it's not that bad. So I'll just, you know, it, re it really isn't that bad. So I figured I'd just be easier to air up here than go to the trailhead and air up there. So I'm gonna finish doing that and then get out of here. So this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. Just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.